A number of exotic and emerging infectious diseases constantly threaten to expand their geographic range and become established in new regions. Countries also face the ongoing threat of reintroduction after a disease has been successfully eradicated. In 2001, foot and mouth disease was reintroduced to several countries, including the United Kingdom, Argentina, and Uruguay. The following are ways diseases like foot and mouth disease are able to spread to new regions. One way is through animals. Each year, the United States and Canada import livestock and poultry from many countries. In 2002, for example, 1.5 million cattle and 5.8 million pigs were imported into the United States. Pets often travel with their owners to other countries for vacation or living abroad. And obviously, wild animals and birds do not stop at the border. For example, wild birds, which can migrate great distances, could carry exotic diseases, such as highly pathogenic avian influenza, across international borders. Another portal of entry is through vectors. Vectors are living organisms that transmit diseases from one animal to another. There are two types of vectors. A biological vector is a vector that supports replication of the pathogen. The disease agent and the biological vector typically have a long-standing ecological relationship and are usually persistently infected with the agent. A mechanical vector, on the other hand, is a vector that carries the pathogen, but the pathogen is not altered while on the vector. Fomites are contaminated inanimate objects which can spread disease. A pair of boots that have been on a farm in another country can carry pathogens. Animal products are another way diseases are spread into new areas. Each year, the U.S. and Canada import millions of tons of edible and non-edible animal products. Humans can act as fomites or incubators to bring animal diseases into disease-free countries or areas. Besides all of these unintentional means of introduction, there is always the possibility of a nefarious introduction or an act of bioterrorism. Many of these infectious diseases can seriously affect livestock, people, and the economy.